Hey everyone, in this video, we will be creating a credit utilization GUI. So to get started here, we're creating this within the NetBeans. All right. And first, we're going to go to our file, new project, Java within, Java application. Next, and we're just going to call this credit util one. All right, now that we have our name, we're just going to go back to our project going to go to the name right click it go to JFrame form and we're just going to create our JFrame and with our JFrame we're just going to get uh, some text fields some buttons and some labels so we're going to call it credit utilization so let's edit that so credit and then utilization get a capital U here alright and we're just gonna make this big so you guys can see it better at home alright so bolded then we're just gonna make it a 48 font alright we're gonna try to center it as best we can alright next we're gonna get some labels we're gonna have on this demonstration we're gonna have four different credit cards so we're gonna be calculating different credit card balances so credit card get our colon and we're gonna put a one here just so we know exactly which credit card this is we're going to also make this bold and we're going to make it a nice size 18 okay all right and so we're just going to duplicate this so we're going to make sure it's selected Control d duplicates it and we're going to do four credit cards for this demonstration and we're also going to change the labels right so let's edit that text and we're just going to have credit card one two uh, three and four alright so now we have four credit cards now we need to get some text fields so let's get our text fields and we're just gonna line them up get them the size we want them to be and once we get the size we want we're just gonna also duplicate so let's edit the text and we're just gonna clear it out first and the same thing so can make sure it's selected control D D D and we have four uh, text fields so we're just gonna line them up with our credit card so let's make this look a little bit more presentable uh, so we're just gonna line these up and the reason we're duplicating is because well we're, we're gonna change the variable name so we don't have to quite worry about any issues uh, with our our duplication of the fields so this looks decent but I'm gonna move this whole if you highlight everything you can move everything at once so let's highlight everything eh, and that looks decent so now we're gonna a different label and we're gonna put this label right on top of our text fields and we're just gonna name this one balance so in this first in these first text fields we want the balance um, of the user's credit cards so we're just going to change that to a bold nice 18 size font and try to center it right above the uh, text field and so what we're actually going to do is we're going to copy these text fields so control C and control V and we're going to place these text fields right beside it and with these text fields what we're going to do is we're going to get the the limit so we're going to get the credit card limits so we can make sure we get a good calculation so we're going to edit that text and we're just going to put limit and also just make sure it's selected go to our font over here in our properties bold 18 okay just make sure that is looking good make sure it's lined up with our balance so now we're, we're getting a good looking GUI here so now we'll um, add some buttons so the first button is always going to be our enter button and we're just gonna also make this bigger for you guys at home so it, you guys can see everything a lot better and we're also going to create a clear button so we're going to select this duplicate it edit that text make it clear alright so now we have a clear button an enter button and we'll get one more text field and we'll put it right about here edit that text and we're gonna call this one the 
uh, total utilization. So whatever our calculation is going to be, it's going to be presented here. So let's get one more label, edit that text, and we're going to say total, enter, so total, and we're actually going to get one more text field just to put it at the bottom. We're going to say total utilization, so U-T-I-L-I-Z-A-T-I-O-N. All right, and now let's get that to a bigger font. So let's select it, bold, 18, OK. And finally, utilization, select it, bold, 18, OK. Uh, just make it look a little bit more presentable. And this is where our output is going to be presented. So we have a text field. Oh, let's stress this out just a little bit more make it look a little bit better all right all right so that looks good to me all right so we have our credit utilization GUI we have our balance which will be in this first text field column here and then we have our limits so to code this let's get started let's double click our enter button all right so it goes to our code where we need to code for the button and so we're just going to put credit calculations in our comment. So credit calculations. So for this demonstration, we're going to have a lot of uh, variables, a lot of variable names. So we're going to have, I'll put two lines of strings and two lines of uh, double variables. So it's uh, easily, a little bit more easy to read. So let's say string. And our first variable is going to be cred1. So credit card one, comma, and then credit two, credit three, credit four for the first three, uh, four credit cards. So credit three, credit four, semicolon. Next, we're going to have string, credit limit. So credit lim one, and then we're going to have the same thing for every credit card. So every limit, we're going to have credit card limit one, credit card limit two, credit lim three, and finally, credit lim four. All right, so now we're gonna have a double. And what our double is gonna be is our actual credit. So our credit number. So I'll go through, when I, once I go through the code, you guys will understand all the different variables that I'm adding currently. So credit one, credit two, credit three, credit all right so it looks like we're getting an error here with with our string so we have to figure out what's going on here and it just we missed a comma so just watch out for that guys and next we'll have another line of double so we'll have credit YouTube so I, I, I labeled these credit utilization so credit util one so we're going to say credit one util. So util is short for utilization. And we're going to do that for every credit card. So credit two util, credit three util, and finally credit four util. All right. Now that we have those, what we're going to do is get that input from our text our text field. So we're going to get input from every text field. So every, every text field will be editable because we're going to ask the user to input something into each of these text fields. Because in this demonstration, we're expecting the user to have four credit cards. So in, in further videos, I'll add it to where uh, the user will be able to put in the uh, specific amount of credit cards that they have that they want to calculate but for this demonstration we're doing precisely four credit cards and four credit card balances so let's go back to our source so now with our our variables we're just going to get that text from our our user so first we're going to say credit one equal or credit one equals credit balance so credit bow and first what we didn't do was label our variables for our text fields just so we know what those are. So for the balance text fields, what I'm going to name these variables is credbal 
text field one, two, three, and four. So I'm going to say cred bow, and you guys can name them whatever is better for you. But for me, this is cred bow text field one or text field one. So this is the first text field, and it's for credit card one, the balance. So cred balance or cred bow text field one. And I'm just going to name that for every variable. So this one will be cred bow text field two. Cred bow text field three. And finally, cred bow text field four. All right. And so for the limit, what I'm going to name these is cred lim text field one, two, three, and four. So cred lim text field one. And to speed this up, we're just going to copy this and see if we can paste it. So let's see. So text field two, cred lim text field three. And finally, cred lim text field four. Okay. All right. So now that we have that, now we can. Oh, well, while we're here, let's go ahead and um, label our our total utilization text field as well. So we're gonna change that variable name, and we're gonna name this total util text field. All right. So now we have everything labeled the way we want it to, and we'll go back to our code here. So we double click to enter. So now we can continue coding. So we're gonna say credit or cred. So we just gotta remember, recall our, our variables for our text field. So cred bow text field one dot and get text. So we're gonna get text from every one of our text fields. All right, so next we have cred, so credit two, or cred two. So I need to change this to cred one. So it's cred one, cred two equals cred bow text field two dot, and we're getting that text. All right, so we're gonna copy this and we can I just paste it for the, the next two so we can control C, enter, control V, enter, control V, and just remember to change our, our variable name. So cred three, cred bow text field three, cred four, cred bow text field four. All right, so now we're gonna get the text field from our, our limit, um, our limit text field. So now we have all the we're getting the text from every one of, the, of, our, of our balance text fields. Now we're going to get every one of our limit text fields. So go back to our source and we're just going to do the exact same thing. We're going to say cred lim one equals, and we just got to remember what our text field was called for our limit. So cred lim text field one dot get text get your parentheses and our semicolon. And we're gonna do the exact same thing for the next three lines. So let's control C, copy it, enter, control V, enter, control V, enter, control V. So four lines. So we have limit two, text field limit two, limit three, text field limit three, limit four, text field limit four. All right, so now we have all those. So let's save it. And now we'll start parsing the information. So remember these inputs we're getting from the user are string inputs. And so we have to convert those into double. So let's convert those into double. So double credit, and we're gonna name these credit bal one. So credit balance one equals double dot parse double cred one semicolon. So we're gonna do this exact same thing four more times. So 
for the control C copy it enter control V control V control V all right so now remember we have to change the variable so remember so change the variable name so cred bow 2 parse double cred 2 cred bow 3 so credit balance right so we have to create a new variable so remember that that's what's happening here so cred 3 cred bow 4 cred 4 all right so now we have to do the exact same thing for our, our limit right so now we're going to say double cred so credit limb one equals double dot parse double cred limb one and get our semicolon and we're going to do the exact same thing right four more times so control C copy it control V control V control V so remember to change our variable names again so credit lim 2 credit lim 2 credit lim 3 credit lim 3 so credit lim credit lim 3 credit lim 3 credit lim credit lim 4 credit lim 4 all right, so if this is confusing, all we're doing is getting these text fields, right? So these two strings, two lines of strings, we're getting that input from the user. So the first one, the first line is for our, our credit balance, and the second line, which is here, is for our credit limit. And all we're doing is converting these text fields, or the, this, these strings, I should say, into double and to create the double we're creating new variable names as well so it's double and our new credit uh, our new variable name is credit bow one instead of credit one All right and the same thing for our credit limit okay so now we have that out the way now we have to do some calculations so this is the fun part right so the, the calculations are the fun part now this may get a little bit more confusing the way I did it, but it works as it should. So let's go ahead and get started here. So we're going to say credit one, right? So this is our credit card one. So this is our credit one, right? So our first double variable here at the top, credit one equals credit limb one. So cred, credit limb one minus credit bow one semicolon right so we're just getting that balance so control C so what what's our balance right so our credit card one has a balance of the limit minus the balance right so the limit minus the balance is how much is left over in the credit card so depending on how much is left over is how we're going to calculate what percentage is available of that credit card or how much percentage the the user is utilizing from their credits so we're going to do the exact same thing guys four more times with different credits so credit 2 equals credit lim 2 minus credit bow 2 semicolon and so to save some time we're just going to copy and paste and make sure we change our variable names so control v control v if you don't change your variable names you will get you won't get the outcome that you think you should get right so the the, the outcome that you think you should get should be correct and if you miss some variables here your calculations will be all wrong right so take your time make sure you're getting the exact uh, variable name that you input into your code that way there's no issues as far as figuring out whether your code is right or you know if the calculations are are right so we did all of our credit cards so our credit cards so our credit limit whatever that limit is minus the balance is the difference of the credit card all right so whatever that is so once we do those calculations what we're going to do next is credit utilization right so to get that we're just going to do credit one which is credit limit minus credit balance and we're going to divide that by the credit limit 
right so that's going to give us a percentage all right so let's go ahead and get these calculations so credit you also well, credit one u2 so the utilization equals credit one divided by credit lim one right so we're going to do this four more times so whatever works for you if it's copying and pasting or typing everything out you do what works for you but just remember the variable name is the most important part in this so credit one so next we're going to do credit two you so credit two just remember to change everything so it aligns with every credit card so variable naming is very important that way it doesn't get confusing hopefully my variable names aren't confusing they aren't confusing to me but they may be confusing to someone else but if you follow this exactly how I'm doing it you will be fine your code will work the way you want it to alright so we did all of our credits so credit one two three four so credit one two three four and it, it, it's simple because it's just one two three four right so credit limb one two three four so all that makes sense we're gonna save that alright so now what we have to do is we have to input well we have to wait make one last calculation and this one last calculation is the most important because it what it does is it calculates everything so it's the the total utilization of the credit cards so this actually may be the most confusing of all the calculations that have been done so far but follow, follow along with me guys so total so this is our final variable so total util and let's see did we okay so we didn't add total util so let's go ahead and add total util up here in our variable name total util so that's also going to be a double alright so total util equals all right remember you gotta you guys gotta follow me on this credit one util and we're just gonna add every credit util right so credit two util plus credit three util plus credit for util alright so that's the simple part we're just adding everything together right so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna divide all those utils by exactly four alright so we're gonna divide those by four and this is when it gets kinda confusing we're gonna add another parentheses and make sure those parentheses are aligning with each other or else you're also not gonna get the output you think you're gonna get right so this is just the first step now what we're gonna do is we're gonna times that so we're gonna get those those four credit utilizations divide that by four now what we're gonna do is times it by a hundred because what we're gonna get is a decimal and we want that decimal to be uh, a percentage right so let's let's times it by 100 so times 100 and we also have to put parentheses around these numbers right so next now that we times it by a hundred what we have to do is subtract it by a hundred now we're subtracting it by a hundred because the the percentage we're getting is not the percentage that we want to get so the percentage we're getting is the percentage that's um, available right so we're getting the percentage available from the credit cards but we want to let the user know what percentage they're using from their credit card not what's available right so next we're gonna subtract 100 so minus 100 and I'll put some spaces in here just so it looks a little bit more presentable and what just remember you have to add another parentheses because we're not done yet another parentheses in the front another parentheses in the back now after you do that now this is where it gets interesting <laughs> after you do that 
what you're going to have to do is times it by a negative one. I know it's interesting, right? But it works. It, it works. The calculation works. Everything will work out, and we will see this in the end. All right, so now we have our calculation. So this is the calculation that you will need to calculate the utilization of the, the user, right? And so we'll, we'll see what I'm talking about once we get back to our GUI. So now we have to send that information to our text field, right? So remember, we labeled our last text field total util text field, and we have to set that text. So set text. So double dot to string. So we have to convert that to a string and total util. So we learned in a previous video, we can actually format our our text field at the outcome of our text so it's not a lot of decimal places. So we'll actually, well first let's look at what we have and then we'll format. So we'll control S, save that. We'll go back to our design. We'll debug our file and let's look at what we get here. Alright, so we have a credit utilization GY. So our balance in credit card one, let's say, is 2500. So we're going to make this easy so the calculations are easy to understand. So we're going to say every limit is 10,000, every balance is 2,500, right? So what is 2,500 of 10,000? It's one fourth of 10,000, which makes it 25%. So our total utilization should be 25%. So let's see if we get that. So let's say 2,500 and 10,000 for each one. And then we'll get a little bit more complex um, later, but we just want to make sure our calculations are calculating the way we want them to, right? So if we enter that, so we have negative 25, right? So that is incorrect. That is not what we want for our outcome. And now we have to figure out why that's happening, right? So negative 25 is, is not what we want. We want just 25. And we'll also put a percentage mark at the end too, but now we have negative 25, which isn't the outcome we want. So now we have to go back to our code and figure out what went wrong. Right, so we have our credit utilizations. We divided everything by um, four because there's four credit cards. We times it by 100. We subtracted it by 100, and we times it by one. And this, this is where we went wrong, right? So we have to times it by, and remember I said negative one, negative one. All right. So now, since we times it by negative one, that negative 25, so we'll go back and we'll debug our file. And so we'll do that again, right? Exact same numbers. Matter of fact, let's do, let's do 2,000. So 2,000 of 10,000 is 20%, right? So we'll do 2,000 and 10,000. So we should get 20% uh, as the outcome. And this time it should be positive. So, 10,000 and 2,000 four times. So here's our last one. Enter and we get 20%. So now we'll, we'll correct this and we'll give it two decimal places and we'll also give it a percentage. And we'll also make it to where it's in the middle of our text field, right? So just to make it look a little bit, I guess, uh, more appealing to the eye. So we'll, we'll put it in the middle of our text field. So I'll exit out of here and we get the outcome that we, we expect to get. So let's go ahead and format. So to format total util text field dot set text. And this is just a string format. So string dot format. And remember from our previous video, we have our our quotations, our percentage dot 2f. We're going to get that comma. Then our variable total util. And what we're going to do actually here is we're going to add. So remember, we wanted to add another percentage mark. So we're just going to add a percentage mark just so it looks a little better. Uh, that way, the, the user know it's a percentage. 
Um, so next, what we're going to do is we're going to enter that, and now we're going to center that text. So we're going to say total util text field dot set horizontal alignment, right? So we're going to set horizontal alignment. And what we write here is our text field. So total util text field dot center. All right, so we want to center that text. Let's control S, save that. Let's go back and debug our file. And, and this time we can do a little bit more complex numbers. So let's say our balance is, and this is you guys will just have to pull out a calculator and check the math here. But let's say uh, we have a $152.63 on one credit card, and our limit is 1000 On the second, we have 2500 our limit is 10,000. The next is, let's say, 356. And our limit is 1,500. And the final credit card, let's say this is our, our balling credit card, or our highest debt, let's say highest debt credit card. 5,200. And let's say our, our credit limit is 15,500. If we enter that, we have a credit utilization, which is how much we're using out of how much we have of 24.39%. So out of all the credit we have, if you add these four numbers up, we're only using 24.39% of that allowed credit to us, allotted credit to us. So in the next video, what I can do is I can actually put a text field here and put the percentage of each credit card that's being used. Maybe this will make it uh, more easier for the user to understand that, okay, I'm only using 10% of this credit card, 15% of this credit card, and 25% uh, of this, and this, and this, and it adds up. Okay, it looks right. You know, and also you guys can pull out a calculator and do your own calculations, but so if these numbers are correct, we're only using 24.39% of our limits right and so this is great for credit scores and just so you know how you're doing with your credit and you know it's it's good to stay under 30 percent and it's 24 so the lower the better uh, as far as credit credit cards and making sure you get a good credit score so make sure you guys uh, keep your balances low all right guys if you enjoyed the video please like and remember to subscribe to see more content